Hi everyone, welcome back to our ongoing series on how to create a life operating system in Notion. We've been plowing through our whole knowledge management section of the larger system. And today we're going to do a cool little add-on to the Media Vault. So the Media Vault is where we capture articles, videos, podcasts, books, everything that's coming in that we're consuming, the ones that are valuable and we wanna keep and have highlights and notes to reference later, it all goes into the Media Vault. And then typically that will all funnel into the Knowledge Lab, but those are the previous two or three videos. Today I wanna to do a little addendum. There's one category of media that's particularly hard to capture and that's podcasts. You're listening to them on the run, in the gym, while driving. It's hard to stop and take notes. And typically the spoken word, the way it's phrased, the way it's expressed is part of the nuance of the idea being communicated. So it's hard to capture little snippets as you're listening to podcasts, especially when you're out on the run. But there's a new option that I'm finding extremely valuable and I wanted to bring that to you. And that is a new podcast app called Air, A-I-R-R. -R. Now, let me just say up front, this is not sponsored. I have no affiliation with the company. I have been going back and forth with one of the founders just to understand how it works. It's a very new app and it's pretty impressive how far they've come this quickly, but it does solve for me the problem of not being able to capture highlights in specific segments, either to share with other people, to share on social media and Twitter, or to most importantly, capture them in my media vault. And this does it. So I'm gonna show you today how it works and why I find it so valuable. And to me, this is the final piece of the media vault that solves the podcast problem. So this is the best solution I have seen to capturing podcast highlights and notes on the fly and to capture them in a shareable way, either with yourself or with others, but also to do it in a way that captures the full nuance of the spoken word. In the last video, I showed you the new Media Vault, which is very similar to the original Media Vault from a few videos ago. It's just that the first one was manual using the Notion Web Clipper, and the newer version is completely automated using the Readwise integration with Notion that brings in automated highlights from Kindle, Apple Books, Pocket, Instapaper, and Twitter. And so this is all now set up to have that automation. If you do the manual version and don't wanna pay the monthly fee for Readwise, then that's totally cool. It looks very similar. It looks just the way it did in my video on the Book Vault and on the Media Vault. So you can check those out. Either way, the podcast component is going to work the same. Right now, podcasts are going to come in from Air. However, Air is working very closely with Readwise right now. And in the not too distant future, we should be able to do the Readwise integration to bring in the Air Clips that I'm going to show you about today. So pretty soon, I expect to be able to bring all of these Air Notes in through Readwise, the same way we're bringing in book notes from Kindle and article notes from Pocket and Instapaper. But for now, it's still pretty darn good coming in directly from Air. And if you're not using the Readwise service, you would use Air in the way I'm going to show you today. And the Air app is free right now. And for the foreseeable future, I talked to the owner about it. They don't have a plan to monetize the core service that they're doing now. There might be premium services down the road, but what's available now should be available for free for the foreseeable future. And that's great because it brings a whole level of note capture that we've never had before in audio mediums. So it's just a small sample because this is my test database. In my personal full database, I have a lot more podcasts and these are growing quickly now that I have this air capability. We'll come back to show you what they look like after we save some, but I just wanted to show you where they fit into the media database. Now switching over to the iPhone app for air, which is spelled A-I-R-R. -R. So looking at the iPhone, we're going to open the air app, which is in my audio folder. And you'll see I've got all the shows that I've saved. Again, this is not fully set up. I'm still coming over from Overcast. I've been using the Overcast podcast app for a long time. So my entire directory is in there right now. I'm gradually porting them over. There is a quick import, but I didn't want to bring them over all at once. I wanted to do a smaller section in order to test it out without the vast list of podcasts that I listen to. So this is a good sample and you can see how this works. So just like any other podcast app, here's a personal favorite. That's my podcast. You click one, you download it, and it will very quickly download. And then it will, if you come back in here, it'll have the saved ones on top and all the non-downloaded ones below. You can see the check mark will indicate what's been downloaded. I'll just choose the ones that I am interested in hearing and I'll save them. So when I look in here, they're all listed at the top and they're ready to play, whether I have Wi-Fi connection or even cell connection or not. So that's how you save them. You can also go into individual episodes and it'll list all the newest download episodes. If you turn it to not automatically download and only the ones that you choose to download will then be listed here and it's easier to find the ones you want. Or you can just look in the download section and find ones that are downloaded. Of course, if they're automatically downloading like these are, 
then it's not going to be your hand-picked selection. But you have control over that. It's up to you, just like any podcast app. But where air differs and becomes amazing, this is an episode I've been listening to from Matt DeVella's podcast. And we start playing. And as it's playing, we will eventually hear something that's worth saving, a really great comment. We just don't want to lose that. So what you do is you press this quote button that's under the play button, and it goes into this mode. And it starts with the end point at where you press it. So you want to listen to the end of what you want to save, and then you scroll back to the beginning of what you want to save, and it gives you a little waveform which helps you find it. And then when you stop somewhere, you're not going to hear the audio right now, but it starts playing in your headset from that point. So you can clearly see if that's the start point you want. If it's not, you just go back a little further. Oh no, we went back too far. See, it's starting to play even from the visual, but you'd be hearing it in your earphones if you want to come back. So you very easily find the start point. And then you go there, and once you let go, it saves it. Now it's here. Now you can put a title in. You can type in saved example, note, or title. So you can put whatever you want there. Typically, I'll put a title that captures the essence of the comment. And then that's saved, and you're done. Now that's the first one I've saved for this. So if we play again, and we're going on, let's say we jump further, and it's just playing and playing. Now you hit another comment you want to save, or another segment. You hit the quotes. The end point is going to be the last part that you heard. And then you scroll back, and you stop somewhere, and it'll start playing in your earphones, and you see if that's the right beginning point. If it's not, you just refine it to somewhere else. Once you find the beginning point, you let go. And now that's saved. And we'll call that second example. Boom. So now we have two of them. You see we've got the first one here and the second one here. So they're there. And as you save them, you'll get the whole list here. Now, these also have transcripts. Now, every podcast does not have a transcript when you first go into it. Really popular ones, like say all the Tim Ferriss ones, will have transcripts already. But ones that are less popular, you have to request the transcript. All you do is you go to these three dots up here, the ellipsis, and you click. This one already has a transcript, so it's already added. But if it didn't, there would be a request transcript button. You tap it. It would take you to a message, and you just hit send, and it would request the transcript. Now, it's going to take about 30 minutes for the transcript to be generated. But it will do it for any podcast that you want. And the idea is, when you have the transcript, then when you say the air quote, you're getting not only the quote itself, like we just went in to edit this air quote, so we could change the end and beginning points. It's showing us where in the waveform it is. And you can play, play and listen to it. It also takes the excerpt of that section in the transcript, the AI-generated transcript, right there. So you've got the text and the word. And you can tweak the beginning. And it'll save that new point. So that if you make that the new beginning point, that'll change it. You can even see the transcript changing underneath it as we make it shorter. It gets shorter as we get longer. It gets longer. And then you hit save and you've optimized the beginning and end point, including the transcript section, which is amazingly cool. You can also go into the transcript and highlight sections of it. And it'll make an audio clip from that section of the transcript, which is super cool as well. Now, once you've done that, if you go over to My Air Quotes, and we now have this new episode just added with the two segments that we saved. In either of these, we can go back into. We can go back into Edit. We can see the transcript. We can revise the inpoints and outpoints. And we've got them right there. So once you've got those, and here's another one uh, from the portal where you interviewed Ben Greenfield, an expert on fitness and nutrition. So it was a really thoughtful conversation. So I saved a lot of notes from the Ben Greenfield interview on the portal. And now I've got two notes from the Matt DeVella show. So let's say we want to take the Matt DeVella's. We'll select in the upper right. And then you just select the clips you want to save into that episode. Now let's do the one down here just because it's larger. It'll be more interesting. So I'm going to go through and select all the clips for this entire episode because I want them saved together in my Notion database. And then you go to Share. Now it's slightly manual, but all you need to do is do Share via. So press and hold choose copy. Copy will now select all of those. So they're now in the save clipboard on your phone. Now you clip on the episode itself. So you click on the three dot ellipsis, you share episode, you choose Notion, you choose Media Vault, you can choose any vault you want, but in this case the Media Vault, we're going to hit save. This is going to save the episode. It pops up there, it takes you automatically into that episode entry, now in the Media Vault. It saves the title. I don't need all of that, but we can choose the parts we want. We could add our tags right here, right now. We could enter status, which we'll say is completed. We will enter category, which is the podcast. You could link it to the Knowledge Vault, whatever you want. 
but we will then go down here and paste the notes. Now it has all the air quotes we saved, and each will link to the actual air quote, which I'll show you. So now it's saved in this entering the database. We look back at the vault database and we go under podcasts and we will have that. I'll show you when we get back to the computer. So coming back here, if you're doing a single one, you can get the whole quote. If you're doing a full collection, it'll just have the links. I'll show you when we get back into the Notion desktop. So the beauty of that is you are now saving individually selected segments of podcasts. So coming back into the desktop Notion database, we now come down to podcast. And this is the one we just entered. It's got the title. We've got the link to the air quote itself and the transcript from this quote. You click on this, and now we have the exact snippet. If you hit play, it's just that 38 second snippet right there. Not the whole thing, not the whole episode, just that snippet that we saved, which is pretty amazing. Now we come back here, and let's look at the other one. The previous one with uh, Ben Greenfield, we open that one up. We have the title, we have the link to the full episode, which is great. That's the whole episode right there. But we now have all of the individual air quotes saved with the title note that I put on it. So it's easy to see which is which. And any one of these, we can jump into and we get just that 19 second clip. So yeah, I sleep on one of those pads. Uh, so that's, by the way, that's the spawn, the one that you... So that's gonna give us just that one little snippet, which incidentally, you could share with others or you could save in your notes. So that's really valuable to have this high value snippet extracted in a shareable, savable, note-taking format. And just the whole episode, all of the special elements that you wanted to record and remember all by themselves, all saved right there. And that is super valuable. So that is what Air lets us do. And I've never seen any other app do this. The functionality in which you take the app and you hit the quotes and you slide back and you select the beginning point, having already selected the end point when you started to press the quote icon, is just the best I've ever seen. And I do a lot of video editing. This is the best I've ever seen at quickly and very precisely extracting a very specific snippet of audio quote. And then the ability to have that converted into text automatically through an AI transcript is incredible. It's a little unfortunate you have to wait 30 minutes, but it's still pretty nice for something that's brand new and just barely on the market that has that level of capability. There's no charge for the transcripts you request. Just whenever I intend to listen to a podcast, I'll always request the transcript up front. If I choose last minute and start listening to it, I'll still submit that transcript request in case I turn out to want to record something, a segment from it. In many cases, I'll end up not using it. I won't want to record any little snippets from that podcast, which is fine. But if you request the transcript up front, you'll have the option. And in most cases, there's something worth saving and remembering if you've chosen to spend 45 minutes or an hour with a podcast. That is awesome and something that I feel I've been missing for a long time in terms of capturing knowledge and insight from podcasts. If you listen to a lot of podcasts, you're hearing these thoughts all the time that you wanna save and it's just never been easy. So this is the easiest way to both save it and share it. In the next video, I'm gonna have a bit of a surprise. I didn't expect to be doing this, certainly not this soon, but I have completely revamped the front interface of my mind expansion dashboard. And I'm going to be giving you guys a look at how I am now using all of these databases we've been talking about for the last several videos, the Knowledge Vault, the Media Vault, and the Notes and Ideas Vault, how i am changed the way that I interface with them in the mind expansion dashboard. I found a much more elegant and clean way to do it in a way I find I get much more value much more quickly. So I'm going to introduce that to you in the next video. If this is of interest, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get updates on future videos. Leave thoughts or questions below or join us on Twitter for a broader conversation. And hit like if you found this video valuable. I also write a newsletter called Mind and Machine on increasing human capability. I give away several of my best Notion templates to anyone who subscribes to the newsletter. You can, of course, unsubscribe at any time, but I hope you'll give it a chance. I work super hard to pack it with a lot of valuable insight. The newsletter link is below in the show notes. Thanks for watching. Lots more to come.